When my mother died, I was very young, and my father sold me, while yet my tongue could scarcely cry, weep, 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 weep. So your chimneys I sweep, and in soot I sleep. So who are the chimney sweepers now, and what can be done to help them? Children work in, an, in a very wide range of different situations. They work in factories, they work on farms, they sell on the streets. And the first thing you have to go and do is, is talk to them and talk to their families and find out what's going on, why they're working, and what they want to do about it. It's no good coercing people um, or banning any work by any children. Um, sometimes because work isn't always a bad thing for children, but sometimes because you can just cause more suffering if you take away a vital source of income. So Child Hope, for example, works with children who are involved in really serious black-breaking black work in Peru. And we work with the whole community and look at why they're working in, for example, stone quarrying, recycling rubbish, um, brick making, and they're often working from about 3, 4 a.m. in the morning. And when they get to school, they're exhausted, they fall asleep, and then they get thrown out of school. So we work with the communities. We find other ways for the families to get a better income so they don't rely on the children's labor. And we work with the schools and try and teach the teachers to be more sympathetic towards child labor child labourers so that they'll give them some time to get out of those working situations because if you coerce people and just tell them what's best for them it just doesn't usually work. <laughs>